Guys, welcome back to another episode of Schofield Welding. I'm going to have to probably talk pretty quiet because it reverbs quite a bit in here. So the sound quality might not be the best. I do have the speaker on right now, so hopefully it kind of takes away some of the reverb and whatnot. But today's video, and for some reason it's very hard for me to not just like yell at the camera. I don't know, maybe it builds confidence when I yell at the camera. But um, for this video, I am going to teach you guys how to take care of your up and smoke hoodies. Now, this is one of my older hoodies. It is washed. I'm not saying that this is the best way to take care of your gear, but it has worked really well with me and has done very good for me. So guys, just before I forget too, this Freedom Edition hoodie is actually up for sale on Up and Smoke. There is only a hundred of them. The pre-sale was yesterday, but um, this will be up for sale. There is only a hundred of them, Freedom Edition, red, white, and blue. So this one is still, it's in good shape. I'll probably wash it and I'll show you what I do to the leather to keep the leather nice. So the way I take care of my hoodies is I just wash them like regular. So I'll just throw them in the washer, a little detergent, whatever, um, clean them up. Do not put them in the dryer. If you put them in the dryer, the leather's gonna shrink, get real hard, and it's just, not, it'll never be the same, all right? So don't dry them, drip dry them, and, and then you wind up with something like this which is the leather is a little bit stiff just because it did get wet it washed a bunch of the uh the stuff out of it so i'm going to show you how i go ahead and get this back to being soft like this hoodie so this is my other up and smoke hoodie this hoodie has been washed quite a bit um it does still have the black color it's really soft leather still smells good so Anyways, let's get after it, all right? So I'm not saying that this is the recommended way of doing it, this is just the way I do it, all right? So mink oil, um, thing about mink oil is if it does get hot, um, it will start to kind of stink a little bit uh, because it's mink oil, you know what I mean? But you're not gonna be wearing these hoodies in 70 degree weather. This is more like your 40s and, and lower. Um, I do get hoodies that are just a little size bigger, that way I can put a hoodie underneath it plus my my welding hoodie. So, a little bit of mink oil, um, some glycerin soap. This stuff's pretty awesome. I usually start with glycerin soap and we'll spray it down, clean it all up, and then, and then mink oil it. Uh, the other thing, guys, while we're talking about the Freedom Edition hoodie, check out these caps from, up, uh, from Blue Collar Caps. This is an American flag paisley, which is beautiful, and then my red, white, and blue with my stars. All right, so go check them out. I love my America stuff. We live in the greatest country. I love this country. But, okay, let me show you how to take care of this and uh, we'll go from there. Before I forget to tell you this, the other thing you're going to need is your dining room table and send your wife out so she's not around when you do this because she'll probably come back a little upset. But, anyways. As long as everybody's ready for an ash chewing, let's do this. All right, guys. So, the way this is done, so this is pretty stiff right now. Um, just got done drying, whatever else. But you're gonna try to not want to get any uh, glycerin soap on your fabric. I mean, it doesn't hurt it if you do, but it's just, you know, Something that you want to try to avoid. So one way you can do it, and all I do is I, you can use like a rag or whatever, but I actually have like a soap, like a leather care deal right here. Come on. Yes, you can think. Okay, so, and that's the other thing. If you want to keep the color and you don't want to stain your leather, um, you're gonna want a new one of these all the time. I really don't worry that much about it. I just want to take care of the leather so that the leather is always good. So, if you really want to get crazy, you can spray right into this and then just start rubbing that sucker in there. All right, and it is gonna change color on you. But like, I don't worry about it because I'll just wash the table here in a bit. I give her a good soak and then just start just rubbing that stuff in there real good. 
this is going to change the color of your leather so if you like it being bright white like that or bright yellow um maybe just drip dry them and, and just live with the stiff but i've taken care of enough saddles in my life that i like soft leather and i like taking care of the leather because this is going to keep your leather um it, it's going to make it last longer get you a little bit off that table right there I'm telling you, you guys didn't send your wife out or you are going to be in some shit. All right, now just give her a good soak. Start up here on the shoulders. Now, I, I try to just, I do my best to keep it off the fabric, but it's not a do or die thing for me. I'm not that worried about it. Okay. Guys, good maintenance on your equipment is going to take care of you so i just keep on the back work my way down the hood okay so we got it pretty good doused um it's pretty much ready to go for the mink oil. Now, guys, like I said about the mink oil, if it gets hot, I have heard, I personally um, don't mind it, but uh, if it gets hot, it will start to stink a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Um, there are different kinds of soaps and oils that you can use. You don't necessarily need mink oil. You can use different kinds of oils and it will take care of it. But what this is gonna do, this is gonna help soften the leather even more. And then on top of that, it's gonna to start to waterproof it too. So when you're out in snow or in all that, it's gonna shed water better than if it was just straight leather. Which if it's just straight leather and there's no oil in it, it tends to absorb water. So I just give me a big old glob of it and just kind of run down it in a couple spots. And then just start really working it in there and rubbing it in there. I think mink oil smells like leather. It just is, that's what leather is, you know, it's just mink oil. But you can get whatever you want. But the other thing about it is, is I, I, I love maintaining equipment that takes care of you. So for me, like, uh, my hoodie right here. Some guys don't want to freaking do stuff like this, which is fine. Just send it to a dry cleaner. They'll do it for you. But um, for me, I enjoy things like that because it feels like when you take care of your own equipment, um, it takes care of you back. You know what I mean? So, and I like my stuff smelling good. I don't, I don't want to be the stinky dude on the job. That's not my deal. I don't like being that way. And you all know the guy that is, so. So I just rub it in there real good. Get that sucker doused in there real nice. And I try really hard not to get it on my uh, cuffs because that's what's gonna be touching your skin. You don't want your skin oily. This is how I take care of my hoodies. Um, like I said, this is my own way of doing it. Um, if you don't want to take the time to take care of your hoodies, just send it into a dry cleaner. They'll know what to do with leather and fabric and whatever else. They'll be able to clean them up for you. But man, I tell you, this just adds, it just softens the leather back up, makes it pliable again, and, and, and you can do it yourself. And then again, I enjoy doing things like that because 
to me, I'm taking care of my equipment. It's what I love and it's just awesome. So anyways, 